have to eat the dream. You have to sleep the dream. You have to dream. What's going on, Strength Team family? Look, I'm right back with another great video. Listen, everybody's new to the Strength Team family. Welcome to the Strength Team family. All we do over here is get gains. If you got any suggestions from any type of videos, all you got to do is let me know, and I promise you, you can ask everybody that's part of the family and that has been part of the family for a while. I will make that video. So any type of video you want to see, you just go ahead and put it down in the comments, and I will make that video for you. And as always, y'all been showing so much love. The family is growing. The channel is getting bigger every single day. That's why I always stress, go ahead and smash that like button because that puts my videos in all kinds of different recommendations. So everybody sees the videos and then they watch the video. Then they see if the video was game certified. Then they hit subscribe. Then they join the strength team family. That's how it goes. So make sure you smash that like button. That's enough talking. So we're going to jump straight into this back and bicep workout. Our first exercise, we got the weighted pull-ups. Now before I even start, if you cannot do a pull-up, go ahead and go to an assistant pull-up machine. It is perfectly fine if you have to start off there. Do not get discouraged. We all have been there at some point in time in our game career. So go to assistant pull-up machine. That way you can go ahead and still make it challenging for you. So go ahead and still stay in the same rep range as the people that can do pull-ups with their body weight and add weight like this workout's going to be. We got the weighted pull-ups and we're going to do four sets and we're going to stay between five to eight reps. So go ahead and choose a weight that is challenging for you. Maybe you might be able to put a 45 pound plate. Maybe you might be like me and just put a 25 pound plate. Whatever is challenging for you is the perfect weight that I want you to use. We have four sets. We're going to stay between five to eight reps. Now listen, when we do these pull-ups, I want it to be slow and controlled, strength team. As you're seeing the video, I'm not swinging. I'm not swaying. I'm not half repping. I'm coming all the way down, getting a long stretch, even holding that stretch at the bottom for at least one second. Then I'm pulling up, trying to pull my chest close to the bar as I possibly can, holding it and squeezing my back, and then I'm coming back down. I'm repeating that strength team for every single rep. Now to finish with that, we have the barbell rows. We're going to do three sets, and we're going to stay between eight to 12 reps. Now listen, you do not have to go heavy with this because I want you to focus more on actually bringing your elbows all the way back and squeezing and contracting your back. Now I know it's easy to get caught up guys. I ain't gonna lie. I used to do it. You can watch some of my older videos. I had 315 pounds on the barbell rows and I really wasn't even doing a row. I was doing a row, a shrug, a curl, a deadlift. It was like all kinds of exercises in one. We all get in those moods and we all get caught up in times. But listen, do not worry about that. Check your ego at the door and let's go ahead and just stay safe and let's get all the gains that we possibly can. So with that said, look at my form. I'm stretching all the way out, letting my lats get a nice little stretch. Then I'm driving my elbows all the way back and I'm squeezing. I'm doing that for every single rep strength team. So that's why I'm stressing you do not have to go extremely heavy. Now after you finish with that, we have the dumbbell rows. We have three sets and we're going to stay between 12 to 15 reps. Again, guys, I do not want you to go heavy. I do not want you to go heavy. I think I'm only using like 75 pounds. The reason why is because I want you to focus on driving your elbow back and contracting your back. I don't want you just swinging the weight because your biceps are going to do a lot of it. Your forearms are going to help a lot of it. Your traps are going to help. I don't want to work all that. We're focusing on our back and our lats. So what you're going to do is, like you're seeing the video, get a nice stretch and bring the dumbbell somewhat in front of you. Now just think about bringing the dumbbell all the way to your hip and hold it for a half second and squeeze. I want you to do this for every single rep strength team and I promise you, you're going to feel it and you're going to grow. Now to finish with that, we have the single attachments lat pull downs. This has become one of my favorite back exercises. I'm not even going to lie. It's making me look so much bigger and wider from the front. So I highly, I mean highly suggest you to start incorporating this into your back workouts. We have four sets and we're going to stay between 12 to 15 reps. So again, this whole entire workout is like an ego free workout. Now to finish with that, we have the weighted hyper extensions. I'm going to do 50 total reps. I'm not even counting sets, strength team. I'm literally just going to do as many as I can do. Then I'm going to rest for like 30 seconds. Then I'm going right back and I'm, I'm doing as many as I can do again. I'm going to do this until I get 50 total reps. Now, if you do this, I promise you, you're going to feel it just as much as you're going to feel it in your lower back with deadlifts. This is serious for your lower back. My lower back is getting thicker and stronger. And at the end of the day, I'm not getting injured. So it's a win-win situation. Now to finish with that, we have the cable rope straight arm push downs. Now, most of the times y'all see me do it with a straight 
straight bar. But I like to switch it up every now and then, but you gotta be careful when you use the rope. Your triceps are gonna try to take over the movement. So what you wanna do is put your arms in a fixed position and make sure that you stay in that fixed position throughout the whole range of motion. Because once you get tired, your triceps are gonna start trying to push the weight down, but do not do that. Just think about keeping the rope spread apart and just drive your elbows all the way down and squeeze at the bottom. That's all you gotta think about and I promise it's gonna help you to keep your lats engaged throughout the whole entire range of motion. Now again, we're not going to count no sets with this exercise either. We're going to do 50 total reps. If it takes you four sets, if it takes you six sets, it doesn't matter. Do as many as you can do with the weight that is challenging, then go ahead and take you probably like 30 to 45 seconds of rest, then go right back in our strength team and finish your set. Now, last exercise, we got the lying down cable curls. If you've never tried this exercise, listen, definitely try it out. I'm telling you, you're going to love it. It's humbling. You cannot cheat. Your biceps are just going to get a massive pump. We're going to do three sets, and we're going to stay between 15 to 20 reps. Yes, I said 15 to 20 reps. I know you're thinking that is a lot of reps, but we want a lot of gains. So that's all we're going to do, just this one exercise. Keep your arms straight and just curl it up to you. The best way to think about it, it's almost like a drag curl. So think about bringing that ball up to your nose and then come down somewhat slow go all the way back out and then bring your arms right back up and try to make that bar touch your nose I'm telling you strength team this exercise right here is game certified this workout right here took me 60 minutes and it was three of us doing it and plus I was recording so if you do this workout by yourself you probably do it in like 40 to 45 minutes that's why these workouts are so effective we go in the gym we destroy the gym we get our gains and we leave the gym that's all we do, strength team. We're not going to be in our socializing. Hey, how you been? How's your mother? How's your brother? How's your dog? We ain't got time to ask you about that. I love your mother and I love your dog, but it ain't the time right now. It's time to get them gains. But like I tell you in every single video, strength team, make sure you like this video. Make sure you share this video. But at the end of the day, strength team, make sure you keep getting them gains. Uh.